Hello there! These lessons come as part of my software called the Flash Human Anatomy. If you want to purchase my software, please go to my website flashhumananatomy.com. With my software, you get all my lessons, my very own illustrations, and my 3D models. Before you go to my website, please leave a positive comment or just a like. I put a link to my website in the description of this video. In this lesson, I will talk about the femur. The femur, or the tight bone, is the most proximal bone of the leg in the tetrapod vertebrae. Vertebrae with this leg are capable of walking or jumping, and here are included most of the land mammals, birds, many reptiles, such as lizard and frogs. In vertebrae with four legs, such as dog and horses, the femur is found only in rare legs. The head of the femur articulates here with the acetabulum in the pelvic bone, forming the hip joint, while the distal part of the femur articulates with the tibia here and the patella, forming the knee joint. By most measures, the femur is the strongest bone in the body. In humans, the femur is the only bone in a type. The two femurs converge medially towards the knees, and you can see it here. In females, the femora converge more than in males because of the pelvic bone is wider here than in males. So as soon as it's wider here, they're gonna converge more medially. The femur is the longest, heaviest, and by most measures the strongest bone in human body. Its length is 26% of person's height, a ratio that is useful in anthropology because it offers a basis for a reasonable estimate of a subject's height from an incomplete skeleton. It is a long bone that has a shaft or body and two extremities, the proximal and a distal one. We will remove this hip bone so we can see the femur better. We will start with the proximal extremity. I will select some other bones so that this bone is better visible and it's not like all yellow. In the upper extremity we can see the head here, then we can see the neck and the two trochanters. This here is the greater trochanter and this here is the lesser trochanter. If you look in the lesson about humerus in my software, you will notice the same thing in the same trochanters. As we already said, the head of the femur articulates with the acetabulum of the pelvic bone, here. It has a small groove here called the fovea, connected through the round ligament to the sides of the acetabular notch. If we look here, right below the greater trochanter, we should be able to see the trochanteric fossa. It is not clearly visible on this model, unfortunately, but I will show you that on the other photo. And here, you should be able to see the intertrochanteric crest. Now here I've prepared an image for you, and here is the trochanteric fossa. This is the greater trochanter here and this here is the lesser trochanter. They are connected with the intertrochanteric crest, this crest here, between the two trochanters. Now the body of the femur. Now if we look at the femur from anterior point of view, the two trochanters would be connected with the intertrochanteric line. Remember, this is the anterior view. Now, femur itself, if we look at it from behind, or any other position, it looks pretty much round and almost cylindrical shape. Here at the bottom, it changes a little bit. Now we're looking at it from the front point of view, and here should be the line, the intertrochanteric line, which is not visible, 
Now if we look at the femur from, from back, we would be able to see the lineae aspirae. It is a line here, which is not visible, and that's why I prepared an image to show you. And here it is. This here would be the lineae aspirae. The line here should be the pectineal line. Lineae aspirae here separates the medial, the medial surface from the lateral surface. And we also have the anterior surface of the femur. In proximal part, the linear aspirate